Alright, so, um, I decided to put one more video up of, um, about calculation. Um, well, I'll be doing more, more videos about calculation in general, but this, this is another video that deals with unexpected forcing moves, which is basically what the first video was about. Um, um, so, basically, we were talking about how we want to eliminate human bias, and, um, so, you know, a lot of the time, most of the time, you know, if you do enough tactics problems, you'll find, you can, you can see the, the, the correct forcing moves pretty easily, but occasionally, you get uh, situations where only the top players will see the, you know, will consider the, the correct move. So here, let's start with the method again. Um, so let's see the material. All right, so we have, uh, let's see, two minor pieces, two minor pieces. We're, so we're down a rook, um, I noticed right away. And this is important because in some situations, when you're down a rook, the correct um, combination might be to try to get a draw if you can't find a win, you know. Or if you're up material, just if you can have a combination that just exchanges a bunch of pieces, that might be winning too. Okay, now let's look at uh, targets. Um, well, I think uh, this diagonal is a target. This diagonal is a target. Um, I think that uh, this bishop is a little bit... I don't know. It's defended by the queen, but it, it looks a little funny to me. Um, let's see. This square this square and this square. I think that covers pretty much the targets. Okay, so now I want you to pause the video and I want you to list, if you if you think want to try this training problem, I want you to write down a list of forcing moves from most forcing to, to least forcing. Well, not from the least forcing, but from most forcing uh, on that you would consider, you know. Don't get into things that are not forcing at all. But Okay, so um, let me get rid of these... Uh, get rid of that. Alright, so, um, well, the most forcing move here is, uh, obviously this move. Um, it's a checkmate, so that must be most forcing. Um, let's see what other forcing moves there are. This move so is very, very forcing. Um, let's see what else. This move is forcing. This move is forcing. This move is forcing. Now, if this is your entire list, um, let's go through these these ones first before we do anything else. Okay, so let's look at uh, queen here. So queen d8 after queen takes, rook takes, king takes, nothing. We can eliminate that. Queen f8 check, forced king f6. Here uh, we can return to h8. That's pretty. That's forcing. But then he can return to e7, and we haven't gained any ground. We can go to d8 check, but he can take with his queen, and we haven't gained any ground, and we're rook down. Remember. Um, we can check with our bishop on d4, perhaps. Um, but black can probably play e5 there. And actually, after e5, the bishop, the queen is under attack by the, our b before bishop, and his bishop is under attack. So that doesn't look good either. So we've eliminated two of them. Queen f6 doesn't seem to work because rook takes. Bishop g5, rook takes, and doesn't seem to work either. Bishop c5, rook take. I mean, bishop takes, and uh, doesn't seem to work either. So you might, in a game, say, well, I guess uh, there's really no tactics here. But I'll, I bet you failed to consider um, a specific... F this is actually, according to my computer, but it doesn't matter. But this isn't actually a force mate in 15. Um, you don't need to see the full mate, obviously, but you d if you didn't consider this move, that's pretty normal. But this move is uh, is pretty forcing. It don't, there's only two valid responses there for... Actually, there's three. Uh, three responses from black. He can take with the pawn, take with the queen, or move his queen to a6. So let's consider, uh, you know, let's consider pawn takes first. Well, what's the what's the point of this move, uh, first of all? Well, the queen is guarding this critical square. So if we put our bishop, we inter interpose our bishop, and he takes with the pawn, then we can just play, uh, oh, oops. Let's just move, let's just do the moves. 
this move. This, this is mate. So uh, what about uh, queen a6? Or actually, yeah, queen a6 or let's look at queen takes because queen takes and queen a6 are pretty much the same um, same thing. And the idea, if you want to know the idea, the idea is that black's queen is overloaded. He has to guard both the bishop on b4 and the, and the the square on d8. You know, but if you use the forcing move method, you don't really have to think in those terms. You just have to look for forcing moves and brute force calculate. But um, this is the idea. So we know that pawn takes isn't good. So now the queen's going to have to uh, stop protecting one of these two points, either d8 or b4. Um, so let's see if uh, if this if he takes. Um, just think of what, so now, um, conceptually, he's left the defense of this square, but, um, in our method, we just have to continue calculating force moves, so, this stuff doesn't, it's the same, Th our, our moving, our, our losing our bishop doesn't change that this variation didn't work. This stuff is the same, for the same reason, the queen still guards the square, the, so we have to consider now, this check, Okay. So let's consider it. Um, queen check, and uh, the most f there's two defenses for Black. The, this is a very forcing move. He has a f6 or rook f6. Uh, after f6, we have what's the most forcing move? Well, this check, and then followed by checkmate. And after this move, we uh, simply take, and that's uh, that's going to be mate next move. So notice this is actually a mate in three. Well, I mean, all right, that's not really true. But if black plays normally, it's mate in three. Um, it's interesting to note that black's best move here is actually, I mean, in theoretic theoretically, it's actually e5. But I mean, you know, um, he's just going to lose a queen. I mean, it's, so it, it's really not an option. So um, yeah, so. That's just an example of an unexpected, another unexpected forcing move, and um, my next video will probably not be about tactics. It'll probably be about some sort of positional, you know, maybe prophylaxis or something. But next time I do tactics, I'll probably be giving you instead of a mate in three that's hard to find, I'll probably be giving you um, something to work on visualization. You know, something where it's the moves are not so hard to find, but it's pretty deep, so that it's working on how far you can see ahead.